utilizing binding. Oh, yeah. Binding, right? So this is the binding and the response. This is right. So if you look at the it's the same. The trend is the same. So for everything we have done IGA and IGM, but as we would expect IGM to be this video because it's the yeah. last fish. Yeah. So uh, we see a similar trend. Whatever you see in IGG, you see in IGA also. Uh, I will not put it in the paper because it's kind of difficult to do. So yeah. that's it. Based on the root of entry, uh, later on you will, you will, you will expect only IGA to be more during the secondary response. You cannot have IGA and IGG, right? Because so that's a very important point and that is very difficult and almost impossible to address in humans because as you know, you don't see why it's not that. You don't have COVID. No, in the during secondary response, based on the root of the entry of the this thing, either IgG should be there or IgA. IgA probably is there in the lung. It will be in the lung. Yeah. This is from the blood. Why? How come uh, it's not there? Because the secondary response is there. In the blood. IgG is obviously the most. Uh, yeah, I know in the blood it is the most, yeah. but based on the vaccine, no? based on the type of vaccine, based on the virus type, uh, we, our body, I mean the T cells, uh, no? uh, they will uh, respond by producing the, during the secondary response, the specific antibody will be produced. That's what we teach during the humoral secondary response. Uh, one type of uh, thing will be produced, right? Yeah, absolutely that's what correct. Doing, uh, absolutely that's correct. what I teach. That's why absolutely I'm correct. correct. It is an infection. This is vaccine. Infection, it goes into the lung. Right? And vaccine doesn't go to the lung, it doesn't have to go to the lung. Only when there is an infection, then it does the cells go where they supposed to be. But if there is no infection, it's going to be it's not going to go into the lung. So for the infection, that probably goes to vaccine, it's not a virus, it doesn't vaccine doesn't travel to the lung. So so that's probably the reason. Do you have any data on uh, untreated lung cancer patients? Untreated. Healthy. Healthy. Not healthy. Untreated. Cancer so patients. lung cancer patients who did not get any treatment. Yeah, chemotherapy. Yeah. So this is like age one patients. There was another uh, study uh, with whom we are collaborating now from one side. They had like 250 patients. It was like exactly the same, but with more patients. It's kind of surprising, but this is what it is. See, irrespective of whether these patients have received the drug or not received the drug, there will be a, a bit a higher amount of immunosuppression in this. Absolutely, that's right. Absolutely. Yeah. So, they are constantly seeing the tumor antigen yeah. and the G-cells are exhausted. They, the, 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 the tumor mildew is always suppressed. So that's what we expect. But the data, if you see, look at these guys. They are as good as heavy asthma. So they are even suppressed. But what about maybe these patients mm -hmm. who are having poor response Vaccines. Do you may have any chance of developing chemo resistance later? Chemo resistance. Chemo resistance. So there are a few equations on the chemo, but most of these patients is no therapy. Then it's not like it. 
is regular systems, not true regular systems. Yeah, you don't know, but the thing is like most of the equations, uh, that was the final stage, like the whole stage. The times when uh, of the eligible patients, only about 40 or something. So it's like a very advanced stage. So we don't even, we cannot even see if they are going to develop the system. It's lung cancer is kind of.
That, that definitely could be, there's no doubt about it. That could be a reason. But the reason, what I was thinking is that if that is the reason, uh, for me, the dose was a huge difference. Like 30 micrograms and 100 micrograms of RNA, mRNA is a huge difference. That's why I was thinking to that. But so I do agree. So, that I can explain with the half adjuvant or complete adjuvant. Yeah. Because there, we are using adjuvant. Adjuvant makes the difference in, with respect to an antibody response. Yeah. So, that could be the reason. That could be, that could be. Could be. Adjuvant only enhances the response. It yeah. doesn't do anything. So, else. what, what uh, he is presenting is uh, the response, antibody response, mm -hmm. either the terms of IgG or IgA, IgE. In all the cases, Moderna is better. So that could be attributed to the adjuvant, what they are using. And the second thing is, Moderna is in Atlanta. <laughs> Why is it? It's in 